From an insane lightweight showdown to other awesome bouts, UFC 288 who seems packed to the brim with excitement. So let's bring you up to date with everything you need to know, starting with a quick overview of the whole thing. So there are a couple of big matchups to look out for in the upcoming UFC event. First things first though, the event itself is taking place on May 6. The location is yet to be made public knowledge, however one thing is for certain, and that's the fact that this is going to be a banger of a pay-per-view. The knee, nice knee, another one. Oh, good left left hand. Jones looking to tee off. We've got a lightweight showdown between Charles Oliveira and Benil Dariush on the card. If you were hoping for a banger of a main event, Dana certainly came through. Then there's also the return of Henry Cejudo. Oh, I'm not champ champ, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Triple C, Olympic champion, flyweight champion of the world, and now bantamweight champion of the world. I am the greatest combat athlete of all time. And as poetic as it is, Aljamain Sterling will be his welcome gift. He's dangerous, he brings it every single time. And man, he brought the best of me. He beat me in that fourth or fifth round. For Sterling, it'll be his third title defense. You have to admit, it's one hell of a return. When it comes to Cejudo, though, he's certainly coming back to the UFC with a bang. But that's not even the best part. After all, we're going to be treated to an insane featherweight bout as well. Yep, Bryce Mitchell will meet up with Jonathan Pierce. These two are slated to go at it in a battle for the ages. One thing's for certain, this event is sure to live long in our memories. So let's start by talking about the fight that could define the night. Of course I'm talking about Bryce Mitchell versus Jonathan Pierce. It's on submission attempt. Watch the back of the head. Honestly, I think the fight is going to be insane. Take Bryce Mitchell, for instance. He's been on a very dominant run in the UFC. Coaches, my teammates, my family, my friends. That's everything to me. Thank you. He was undefeated until his last fight against Ilya Tapuria. That fight didn't go as planned, and he ended up tapping to an excellent submission from Tapuria. Considering Mitchell isn't used to losing that often, that one's gotta sting. So it's safe to say that he's going to be looking to get back to his winning ways. Still, it doesn't look like it'll be an easy task. After all, Pierce is no pushover. Like Mitchell, he's only lost one fight in the UFC, and that was back in 2019. Since then, he's been tearing through the featherweight division. Coming into this fight, he's set on a five-fight win streak. With all that being said, one thing's for sure, and that's the fact that this fight is shaping up to be something special. Even then, you have to wonder who's come out on top here. My family out in the stands, I wouldn't be here today. Thank God. Congratulations on a dominant performance. Jonathan Pierce, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, it could end up going either way. See, both of these guys have something to lose. They also have very similar records and will be looking to maintain them instead of adding another loss to the scoreboard. When you think about Jonathan Pierce, you have to remember that his last loss was over three years ago. As I mentioned before, he's been on a winning streak since then. You're probably wondering how that affects the fight. Well, you see, that means he might end up being a tad bit too overconfident in his abilities. Now, while that's not always a bad thing, it might end up costing him the fight. In case you're confused, allow me to explain. Bryce Mitchell lost the first fight of his career the last time he entered the octagon. I don't know about you, but that sort of thing tends to light a fire under people. So when it comes to who'll be hungrier for the win, it'll probably be Mitchell. Still, it's too early to tell. The fight could end up swinging either way. All we can do right now is wait and see what ends up happening. Besides, we have an even bigger surprise in store for us. Yep, it's Henry Cejudo's return to the UFC. I mean, when it comes to this guy, you never know what to expect. He keeps you on your toes at all times. Back in 2020, the whole world doubted his ability to fight. Everyone thought he'd entered his washed up phase and wouldn't make the cut. However, against all odds, he managed to prove us all wrong. My coach, uh, Santino, everything put in this, this thing together. I want to thank my mentor, Dave Zolman, man, without you, 
Actually, this bout isn't even mine, Joe. He ended up winning the bantamweight title and carved his name in MMA legend. Now, fast forward to recent times, and he's been teasing his fans about a potential return to the UFC. In case you're confused, he vacated the belt soon after winning it to go ahead and retire. Well, kind of. Anyways, that's beside the point. See, recently he announced that he'd finally be making his long-awaited return to the octagon. The best part is, he revealed that it would be against none other than the current bantamweight champion, Alger. Jermaine Sterling. I'm not gonna lie, when it does happen, this fight is about to be epic. That said, there's a big question looming over our heads, which is, who's going to end up taking home the belt? I'll be honest, this fight is a bit of a wild card. Both fighters have a certain factor of unpredictability about them. Cejudo has managed to surprise us in the past. As I mentioned before, no one expected him to win the title last time around, and yet he defied everyone's expectations by dominating the fight and going home as the champ. Now that he's back, everyone's going to have higher expectations than before. Even when you take a look at Sterling, there are not a lot of leeways to find. Again, see that right arm of Mitsugaki? There's the arm triangle from the bottom. He's got it from the bottom. When he first won the belt, people doubted his ability. That's because he didn't win the belt in the best fashion. He won it on a technicality. However, since then, he's proved why he deserves to have gold wrapped around his waist. He managed to successfully carry out title defenses against Peter Yan and TJ Dillashaw. The win over Yan was special because everyone thought he couldn't have won the bout if it hadn't been for the technicality. But once again, against all odds, he managed to prove everyone wrong. So with all that being said, I think it's obvious that there's no real underdog in this fight. Instead, it'll end up being an even matchup throughout. Whatever happens, I know for a fact that it'll be epic. And now we finally arrive at the main event of the evening. I'm talking about none other than Oliviera versus Dariush. See, ever since Islam managed to beat Volkanovski and defend his belt, there hasn't been a clear contender for his next title defense. One could argue that Beniel Dariush is the next to step up and face off against the champion, though not everyone is convinced. That's probably why this matchup is so important. If Dariush manages to defeat Oliviera, who's also the number one ranked lightweight right now, he'll have an airtight case on why he deserves a shot at the title. Still, it's obvious that this isn't going to be an easy task. He's going to need to put in the work and train hard for this fight. When it comes to their fighting styles, these two are pretty similar. They're both extremely proficient in grappling and use it as their main weapon in every fight. If that wasn't enough, both men figured out that they were not too bad in the striking department. So now they have really good striking skills coupled with world-class grappling skills. When you look at their strengths that way, you quickly realize how stacked these guys really are. Plus, when you get two fighters of the same fight style in an octagon together, you can expect the bout to come down to one thing, and that is, who's more skilled as a fighter? With everything that's on the line, this is sure to turn out to be an exciting bout. That was everything you need to know about UFC 288.